VTube Studio is the number one free live 2D application used by small and large VTubers alike. In today's video, I'm going to show you on how to set up VTube Studio and some little neat features built into it. If you happen to find today's video helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the video and really helps out the channel. Any and all links mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. The first thing we gotta do is head over to Steam to download VTube Studio. With Steam open, all we need to do is type in VTube Studio, find it and click on it, scroll down just a little bit, hit the free button and then download. Wait for the program to download and install, and then open it up. To import an avatar into VTube Studio, all we need to do is at the top left hand side, click on the avatar icon. We can select from any of the free ones that VTube Studio gives us, just like so. Or we could import our own by clicking again on the avatar icon, click on import your own model, click on open folder, the application will then open the folder that you need to drag and drop your Live 2D avatar into. So you're just gonna find it wherever it is on your computer and then drag it into this particular folder right here. Then what we'll wanna do is close the application and then reopen it. With the application reopen, we wanna click on the avatar icon again, then find your avatar, click on it, and then wait for it to load. And here we are. To move your avatar around, all you gotta do is hold down the left click or the right click of your mouse to move it or zoom in using your scroll wheel to make it fit where you want it. But we're not done just yet. We now have to get ourselves ready for OBS. To do that, we gotta click on the little image icon, scroll down to background number eight, hit select. You'll see we now have a green screen and now we are ready to add to OBS. For the people that only wanted to know on how to import an avatar into VTube Studio, you're all done. A little time will pop up on the screen now to tell you where to go in the video to set this up in OBS. Let's now deep dive into some settings. To bring up the menu in VTube Studio, all we need to do is just double click. And as we see the menu now appears, what we wanna do next is click on the gear icon. And as we see, it brings up the webcam tab what we want to do now is choose camera. Vast majority of you will be doing this. Find your webcam, hit select, find your default resolution for your webcam. So whatever it is, find out, click it, and then hit select. We want to select frames. We want to select the best frames for our webcam or what our webcam supports. I'm going to hit 60. Yours might be 30 or even 15. Hit select next. We want to hit YUY2, hit select and then we're good to go. Next thing we wanna take a look at is tracking quality. So we're gonna click on tracking quality. Obviously number five is probably gonna be the best one for the vast majority of you, but if your system is a little bit older, we might wanna select something a little bit down here. This can help with performance with VTube Studio, but for the vast majority of you, I would select number five, or you can experiment and try it with RTX if you have an RTX GPU. But we're gonna select number five and hit select. Next, what we're gonna look at is tracking type. So if you have built-in hand tracking, we wanna click on face and hand tracking, but the vast majority of you is gonna be by default on only face tracking. I would make sure webcam FPS, you move it to whatever your default FPS that your webcam can handle. And I would click on auto start cam with VTS. So every time you open up VTube Studio, your camera starts capturing. All the other settings I would leave at default you can play with them if you are having some trouble, but I would actually leave them at default for the most part. At application FPS, if you do have an older system, changing the FPS from 60 to 30 can really improve it. But if you can run at 60, please do. If your system can't handle it, definitely lower it to 30 FPS. If you use the VTube Studio mobile application for your facial tracking, we're now gonna cover that. What we wanna do is click on the gear icon Scroll down just a little bit and under connection settings, yours will be off by default. What you wanna do is turn on start server, click on show IP list, copy your IP, and then open up your phone. On your VTube Studio mobile app, you're gonna open up the settings as well. You're gonna click on connect to PC, stream mode, and you're gonna enter in the IP of your computer. Then you're gonna select find server. Once you're done entering all the settings on both the VTube Studio desktop application and your VTube Studio mobile application, your facial tracking should now activate 
and now you'll have proper iPhone facial tracking. Since we're here in the gear icon section of VTube Studio, we're just gonna scroll down just a little bit more and we're gonna see that VTube Studio allows external plugins. External plugins like Twitch's integrated throwing system. All we need to do is just click on Start API, give the application the port number of VTube Studio, and for the most part, that's it. You're all done and good to go. Let's now add object to our avatar in VTube Studio. We just need to double click in VTube Studio and under the image section, we gotta click on the little green star. We see that there's a whole bunch of different items that now appears and we're just gonna select on the beverage Red Bull and then click select. Item order, this moves the item either in front of you, in front of other items or behind you or behind other items. So the higher the order, the more on top the item will be and below the order queue is well, more behind it goes. Then what we can do is we can also flip image. We could pin the item to the model itself. And for fun effects, we could add the sensor option, but we're just gonna click okay. And as we see the Red Bull items there, to adjust the Red Bull item, what we need to do is just move it around with our mouse like we would with our avatar, but we have to make sure our little pointer is over the item itself and not on the avatar. Hold down the item and then scroll on the wheel to adjust the size. And there you go. To pin it, all you gotta do is just let go. And as you see, it moves with the avatar. The other sections of E2 Studio is more for advanced users. So we're not gonna really cover it in this video, but what we will do is now move to the OBS section. So now let's add VTube Studio to OBS. In OBS under sources, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the plus icon and we're gonna select game capture. In game capture, we're gonna call it VTube Studio. I'm gonna call my VTube Studio 2 because I already have one. And then I'm gonna click okay. Then under mode, I'm gonna select capture specific window. Window, I'm gonna change that to VTube Studio. Then what I'm gonna do is scroll down a little bit and select allow transparency. And what that will do is get rid of the black borders in VTube Studio, and then I'm gonna click okay. Then I'm gonna right click on VTube Studio and go to filters. With filters now open, we're just gonna select the plus icon and I'm gonna select chroma key. I'm gonna press okay. And now we see chroma key remove the green screen. So now we're gonna just hit close. We're gonna move the avatar to wherever we want in OBS resize it and just like that we're good to go now that you have vtube studio installed tell me how you like it in the comments down below and make sure you share this video with your fellow vtubers because it could really help them as well again i'm your vtuber senpai ice cream here on youtube every monday and friday so come on by say hi and well i'll catch you in the next one bye special shout out goes out to chitra thank you so much for your continued support